Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This may not be something that you guys are used to seeing, so if this is something that you're not entirely interested in, um, then I'll see you in my next makeup related video. I hope that you guys don't mind that I am bringing you something different that's not makeup related at all. Um, but I would like to show you guys because it's something that I am interested in and it's part of my lifestyle. Tattoos are a big part of my personality and I wanted to share like my tattoo journey with you guys. So as you might know, I mentioned I went vegetarian when I was 16 years old and I started incorporating more ve not vegan but cruelty free products into my life but we don't think about things like tattoos. So I did get a couple tattoos and I never knew like if tattoos were vegan or not. So the tattoos that I got from when I was 18 to maybe in my early 20s, I'm 28 now. I'm not sure if they're vegan. I have no idea. Um, I never really thought about it. I never really cared to be honest, but um, now that I'm older and I've been vegan for a while, um, vegan tattoos are more important to me and they're not that hard to find. It's not that hard to find vegan ink. If you find a, t a tattoo artist and ask them about their ink, um, what ink that they use, you can get information about that ink and then look it up, see if it's vegan. Um, the one thing that I'm not entirely sure about, and I'm, I don't make a big deal out of this, is the products that they use while you're getting tattooed, like the um, the stuff that they spray and whatnot, and the paper, like a lot of that probably isn't vegan, and honestly, that doesn't bother me personally, but what does bother me is if an ink is not vegan that's going into my body permanently forever. If you guys are interested in getting a completely vegan tattoo, there are places that you can go where everything that they have is vegan. Um, but those places are hard to find and it might be hard to find an artist that you like that only does vegan tattoos 100% completely. So um, finding a tattoo artist who does vegan ink is pretty pretty easy to find. Um, my artist, I asked her if she does vegan ink and she does and she's awesome and amazing and I love her and I'll show you guys some of her work that I have. Um, her name is Noelle LaMonica and she's based out of Buffalo, New York but she does come to LA every once in a while so you guys should follow her on Instagram. She is amazing. She does really amazing artwork. So, yeah. Um, one of the first, well, actually, the very first tattoo that I got from her was maybe two years ago. And I got this, it was maybe like two and a half years ago. And she does very, you know, girly work. Next, she did my unicorn horn, which is on the other side of my arm. I got this tattoo. It says Yas Queen and it is my little tribute to drag queens and RuPaul and RuPaul's Drag Race and we have a couple cute little bobby pins. Sorry my phone's going off. Cute little eyelash and then she does really cute like little sparkles and this is like my more my more cutesy arm. Um the tattoos are really cute and girly, and this is Bea, which, um, this is a tattoo that I got a few years ago, um, and I have them because of my chemical romance lyrics. I told her that I wanted something more dark and gothic, so she put an upside down cross with a little spider in there. And then the spider webs are in the tube. And then a uh, crystal um, lipstick. So I'm not super into like, you know, crystals or anything like that. But I think that it really goes with the whole theme of the whole tattoo and brings it together. And then I have the muerte on my other wrist. 
And then on both of my arms, it says Animal Liberation. So this says Liberation. And this one over here says Animal. I'm going to go through the rest of my tattoos with you guys because you guys are curious what I have and whatnot. I have the used tart on my side and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you right now. So from one of their albums, they have this heart and I just have the heart. I don't have the noose or anything because I said when I was 19 when I got it that if I wanted to get the news, I would just come back and get it later. Which now, it just kind of looks like a floating heart and just listen to tattoo artists when they tell you or when they suggest something to you because it looks kind of stupid that I just have a floating heart. And he told me that I should get something around it or like get the news with it, but I didn't want the news. So just listen to your artist. They are experienced, you're paying them to do good work, so. Next, my first tattoo ever is a little heart on my hip, and it is inspired by Kelly Osbourne. I got it when I was 18, and I got it because it was Kelly Osbourne's first tattoo, and I copied her. Straight up copy. Um, don't copy people's tattoos, like, unless it's like something that, you know, a lot of people have just don't copy their exact tattoos because I've been there done that so just don't do it um on my neck I, it says another nameless face and it's a lyric from scary kids scary kids and it really spoke to me at the time and it means even more to me now because the lead singer died of an overdose and it was really sad like I don't know I asked him personally at a show like what the what the line meant and he said that he didn't want to tell me what it meant because obviously I got it for a reason and he didn't want me to think differently he just wanted me to think interpret it how I wanted to interpret it because I have it tattooed on me so yeah, that's a pretty meaningful tattoo to me now, now that he has passed away. It means a lot more than it did, and people always ask me what it means and why I have it and blah blah blah, and I never come clean, I never tell people what it means because it's not your business. Next, I have Varsity X's on both of my ankles, which stands for straight edge because I am straight edge. If you don't know what that is, it means no drinking, no drugs, no smoking. Um, I've never, I've never done drugs in my life and I've only drank one time and gotten really drunk and I've never touched alcohol again, so straight edge. And also on the front of my ankles, it says stay true, um, just kind of, a lot of people have this and for me it just means like stay true to straight edge, so yeah. And next I have the safe camp symbol on the side of my ankle which is the Circus Survive symbol, and I love Circus Survive, they've done so much for my life, and they are an amazing band. Next I have a bike, um, which I have because I did bike a lot of the most recent years, and then I stopped pretty recently, like in the past year, because I did get hit by a car, and now I'm kind of scared to get back on a bicycle. Next, I have an upside down cross, which I kind of got as a joke, and I understand it's, I know it's meaning, but I'm not Christian or Catholic, I'm atheist, so it's kind of stupid and ironic, and like stupid hipster irony, like, I, I don't know, I think, I still think it's funny, but it's stupid, it's ignorant that I have it, but whatever, can't take it away now. Um, then I have a little fr Friday the 13th tattoo, which I got on Friday the 13th as a deal, and if I had to get it again, I don't think I would get it, or I think I would get it in a different place. And that was both my Friday the 13th tattoo and my upside down cross, cross tattoos. It was a deal, super cheap, so if you're getting a super cheap tattoo, don't do it. 
like just learn from my mistakes unless you really don't give a shit and you have a lot of tattoos and you can just kind of hide it like just don't do it but yeah that's all of my tattoos and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more of this kind of related stuff in the future um yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all social media and I will see you